Hello and welcome back to the Dundeal YouTube channel and if you're a fan of the channel you know normally we review new modern cars that are just coming to the market however today we're down filming a different video in Paul Smith Motors and we've been offered a drive in their 6 litre Bentley now naturally as a petrol head we're not going to say no so let's go for a quick drive and review an older and premium car Okay, so I think the most important thing about driving a Bentley Continental GTC is the way it makes you feel. But before we get into that, let's talk about some of the stats and some of the facts and figures. So it is a six liter W12 engine. It's outrageously wide. It has 552 brake horsepower. It's twin turbo, 650 newton meters of torque. 0 to 60 time is 4.8 seconds, which isn't remarkably amazing, but that is because it does weigh two and a half ton. Now the suspension, the way it drives, this car is not obviously gonna go around a track very fast, but it just feels so elegant as you drive it. It just floats over bumps. Believe it or not, we're actually on quite a rough road surface and driving it here, you'd be none the wiser. So specifically, this is a Bentley Continental GTC. Now the Continental and this shape has been around since about 2004 or 2005, and it is somewhat timeless. And even now in 2020, they haven't really changed the shape all that much. And my predictions are, this will be a future classic. It's currently a bit of a modern classic, but down the line, prices will rise. Now prices, that's a big one. I can't find the exact price in Ireland new, but I'm gonna say it was north of 200,000. Nowadays, you'll pick one up for maybe around 50,000 euros, and you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. It's actually very similarly priced to a brand new BMW 3 Series, and it has some similar features, some different features, and we're gonna take a look through it. First thing you can't miss is that Bentley badge. Now, as you look at the rest of the car, I think one of the standout things are these big 20 inch wheels. Now they somehow are absolutely gigantic. However, they look subtle, they look very, very modest. And as you make your way through the car, you'll notice it's got the soft top, which obviously in Ireland, there's not many days a year you can use it, but it is really, really cool. And the inside of that is actually very nice. And then from the rear, now this is my favorite angle. It's very, very subtle. It's got two exhausts, but you gotta remember this is a W12 engine and it's just got two subtle exhausts and then the boot. So it just pops open and the way it does it, it's so smooth and elegant. And inside the boot, it's not the biggest boot. I don't know how many liters it is, but it's finished in a lovely soft carpet. That's the type of carpet that you'd have in a very upmarket house. And you've got your little Bentley umbrella here and electrically closing. Now, the interior of the Bentley. Wow, what else can you say? It feels so special in here. It's so bright. You've got this lovely wood finish. You've got a big screen here and there is literally buttons galore. In fact, I'm gonna ask you a question. How many buttons do you think there is just in this section here and on the steering wheel? 77. 77 buttons. In a Tesla, there is one button. 77 buttons and I absolutely love it. It just has this incredible feeling to it. And it has all your usual things. It has a sat nav. Now I'm sure it's not the most up to date and modern one, but it does have a sat nav, it has all your radio, it has a Breitling clock on it, which is really, really cool. And even the finish of the convertible roof is really, really nice. So we're gonna start it up, we're gonna do a few revs, and then we're gonna see how it is to drive and could you live with it every single day. The thing about the Bentley Continental GTC is that it's an experience to drive, not like any other car, but it's two and a half ton because it's so luxurious. And so it doesn't drive like a crazy supercar. And in fact, 
it's just such a modest car to drive. Look at this, a speed bump. Elegance as you go over there. It's just pure silence. And the way it drives, like, there's a lot of grunt there, but it'll only do not to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.8 seconds, which isn't groundbreaking numbers, but it's the way it takes you there that is such an experience. Now, the reality is, this is where your Bentley is going to belong. Out here in front of the Royal Marine Yacht Club, parked up next to some of your companions who live the luxurious retired life. It is a very different car to the normal one we reviewed, and we hope that you've enjoyed a little glimpse into the other side of life. And if you did, please subscribe, give us a like, and let us know any of your feedback in the comments. Thank you so much to Paul Smith Motors for letting us take this for a little drive. We'll see you in the next one.